Welcome back. Our friends from Northern Light Health are here. Dr. Krishna Bada joining us. It is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, let's first uh, talk about uh, this disease. How rare is it and what age group does it commonly affect? So it is rare. It's 1% of all the men's cancer, but it is the most common cancer between 15 and 35 or 15 and 40 years of age. So it is a significant disease and you, you diagnose about eight to 10,000 a year. Okay, uh, what signs and symptoms should men be looking for? It doesn't have many symptoms like pain or discharge or something. It's mainly palpation. It's a lump that you feel and that should be the warning sign. That should be the you know, tip off. Now, what sort of things uh, should we be doing, self-exams, how, how, what should we would be doing at I think self-exam is the most important one, and that's how most of these are found. Uh, self-exam every month, maybe after shower, when there is, you know, relaxity there, that, that is the, what we should do. Now, walk us through the timeline for someone who does a self-exam and, and maybe notices something that's a, a bit out of the ordinary. What should your next steps be? <laughs> I think you asked a perfect question because just before, you know, recently, last few weeks ago, there was a patient who felt this, you know, something not right in this courtroom. And about on Friday, Monday, the, you know, wife and her, they, I mean, him talked and they called the primary care. He had an ultrasound performed. And next week he was in my office, you know, seeing me. So that is a Really, I mean, it sounds like a fast timeline, but it's the perfect timeline. And then he ended up having surgery after a week, um, and it was cancer. So this is, you know, when you notice it, don't wait. Now, it would seem to me to be the sort of thing that you need to let shyness or things like that go by the wayside because you, you can't, urgency would seem to be better to uh, talk to you and have it be nothing than the other way around. Brian, you know, 95% cure rate in a way if you detect it early. Things go downhill if, you know, if it is advanced. So the earlier you detect, the earlier you seek help, the better it is. Absolutely. Now, if people have questions or they want to speak to an expert, northernlighthealth.org has got answers like that? Yeah. I know they can always call the urology office. but. Just make sure that they understand that they are not alone in this journey. So if there is cancer, don't feel you know sad and you know sorry. There is a lot of help. You know it's a collective journey uh, where doctors are there. You you guys are helping. Yep. And you know the family helps. So just make it a collective journey rather than a you know just a lonely feeling or something. So to sum it all up, after you take a shower. Do a little, is there a particular age when you should really start to do that? Yeah, teenage. I know it's like 15, 12. I mean, yep. that's when you should start the habit of doing it. Sure, just to make it a habit. And if you see something, say something. It's like, it's true. See something, say something. And everything. All right, and northernlighthealth.org. Dr. Bada, thank you so much for coming through uh, during this Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. If you want this information, again, you can head to our website, wabi.tv. Back with the forecast right after this.